Hello everyone, this is Shini and I am from the CyberK YouTube channel and in this video I am going to show you how to set up and use Burp Suite. Okay? So as it is a starting video, I am going to just show you how to set this up but in the future videos, in the coming videos, I am going to show you how to use Burp Suite every single option I am going to show you. Okay, So let's get started. So first of all, you can download Burp Suite from the website Portswigger actually. Portswigger uh, you just search then you can see Burp Suite there inside so go inside of the portswigger.net and then click on the Burp Suite uh, get Burp link either you can download the free edition and you can go with the professional edition if you want to purchase it okay so what I suggest is uh, go with the free edition first the only thing which lacks in the free edition is scanner so you can just use it free edition without much problems okay so let me download on it I download so I'm using Windows so that I can run it on the Windows or if you are running in Linux or Mac you can download the jar file uh, which one okay let me take the jar file because I would like to use jar file it's getting downloaded meanwhile my channel if you are new please click on the subscribe button to get latest updates on my channel and please like or dislike based on your preference and if you want to you know get any other kind of videos you can just ask me in the comment box so that i will get it so the link is youtube.com slash the cyber care get in touch so it's almost done okay keep the jar file it says it's dangerous so show in folder i'm gonna get this to my desktop and i'm gonna run it so Bob Suite free edition it is that I'm gonna use and if you wanna use a paid version you can use it. So this kind of uh, license agreement will be must in every software so click on accept I don't like this so click on accept. So when it is asking for what kind of project you want or something like that so select temporary project because we don't have any other option because it is free edition so click on next then select use burp default because we don't have any saved configurations and i'm going to use this default for every other next time so that it will not ask multiple times so click on start burp so it will take some time and it will load up load up so let it okay here it is now people for the people who don't know for them let me tell you burp suit is an interception proxy stuff so you configure your browser traffic to be redirected to burp suite so that you can you know investigate the packets how they look like and how they uh, transfer data everything like that uh, even you can perform vulnerability scannings on that so to do all of that you need to configure your burp suite to your browser so how to do that this is what i'm going to show you in this video so in the coming videos i'm going to show you other concepts like i told you so for this video let's proceed so go to proxy tab here in the first target proxy stuff go to proxy tab there and there inside of the proxy you will have a tab called options so click on the options and there there is an interface already running okay so this IP address you need to configure in your browsers proxy settings okay for the starters I suggest keep the same IP address let me show you so go to the browser open uh, this this three line thing you click on that and you go to options or you can go to tools and you can select options or if you are doing this on Linux you can go to edit menu and you can select preferences okay let me go here options there go to advanced and in advanced go to network then select settings by default you may be in general so click on network and under connection click on settings and there by default maybe it will be no proxy or system proxy like that so select manual proxy and give the IP address which you have in burp suite 127.0.0.1 so give it here and the port number that 8080 port number you give it in the port box 8080 okay so if this box is not selected use this proxy for all protocols check that box so that uh, multiple kind of traffics you can intercept this is for the basic people if you want to do this burp suit stuff in the another computer which means from one computer to another computer if you're doing all this in the same computer same machine it's all okay but if it is not 
delete the existing one delete and then click on add there you can customize your port number by default it takes 8080 if you are advanced user you can modify it let's say 80 81 81 like that you can modify and if you select loopback address it will take 127.0.0.1 so i suggest you click on specific address and select your current lan ip address or whatever ip address you have so right now my ip address is 100 so i'll select this and i click on ok so this ip address i can even configure in any other lan computer and i can intercept the traffic okay so this ip address come here to the browser type 192.168.0.100 your lan ip address and the port number which you have given there 8181 again i'm saying if you are a new person don't change that at all give the same 127.0.0.1880 port number so you click on ok then now from now onwards anything which you do in this browser will be stopped in the particular burp suite and you can intercept the traffic okay so for, for example like let's say i'm opening a test website so this traffic will be captured in the intercept section of the proxy how, how to use it all of that I'm, I'm going to tell you in the coming videos but for now this is how it works there is one more setting which you have to do uh, by default with this options whatever you configured burp suit only intercepts http traffic it can't deal with https traffic for example if you open something like google you will get this kind of error okay so so this is what the error you can't access google that that kind of https traffic you can't access so to access https to deal with https kind of stuff also you need to install burp suit certificate in your pc so this has to be done mostly every time your ip changes so let's see how that can be done so type http colon slash slash burp in the browser which you are using okay and then you hit enter so you can see burp suite free edition then here you can see ca certificate you click on that so it will download a csr.der file select the save file option and click ok so the file will be saved then just like we have done earlier go to uh, options there go to advanced there earlier we were working with network settings right now let's go to certificate settings so go to certificate and there you have a button called view certificates so click on view certificates and then here under authorities okay it may be somewhere else for you so come to authorities and there click on import and select the file which you have downloaded that is casert.der so there you can see casert.der select that and it may ask you to trust you have to trust you have you don't have an, another choice so trust everything and you click on ok and then you click ok here also and from now onwards you can even intercept https traffic as well for example like google oops uh, google now here in the burp suite if i forward or if i intercept off you can see the google traffic from now onwards be it http based website or be it https based website either of them you can you know intercept the packets in here and you can see how the traffic will be generated how the packet headers will look like and how to modify all of that stuff pen testing stuff or uh, web application testing stuff you can do in the burp suite but till now we have only seen few options here and uh, there are a lot of other options like target spider scan and all i'm going to show you all of them in uh, individual videos and that's all for this video so if you like this video you may also like my other videos you can just check out them in my channel youtube.com slash cybercare just go to the videos there are a bunch of other videos you may like so try them out and if you like this video or not like i, I told you just tell me uh, that's all for the, uh, this video have a nice day uh, we'll be back with another video till then have a nice day bye bye